It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. In my last edition, me and my submedia slaves took a fun look back at the motherfucking Oaxaca Commune, an epic six-month-long uprising that turns 10 years old on June 14th. In my report, I pointed out that the teachers of Section 22 of the Coordinadora Nacional de Trabajadores de la Educación, or CENTE, who kicked things off back in 06, are still holding shit down to this day. For three years now, they spearheaded resistance to neoliberal education reforms that Mexico's taco smuggling president Enrique Peña Nieto has been trying to impose on the whole fucking country. Well, this work paid off, and on May 15th, or Mexico's National Day of the Teacher, members of the CENTE launched an indefinite motherfucking strike, and peeps around the country took part in a day of action that saw marches, rallies, and plaza occupations, or plantons, break out in 23 of Mexico's 31 states. Since then, this strike has totally fucking paralyzed Mexico's education system, with thousands of schools shut down in the southern states of Oaxaca, Chiapas, Guerrero, Veracruz, and Michoacán, and support going strong in Mexico's federal district, where one in five Mexicans live. In Chiapas, on May 27th, thousands of teachers temporarily took over a number of private radio and television stations to call bullshit on the corporate media's framing of the strike and to get their own message out. That same day, teachers in Oaxaca, in a truly impressive tactical maneuver, managed to surround a contingent of hundreds of federal police, forcing the pigs into the awkward situation of having to negotiate their own withdrawal. In the areas most heavily impacted by the strikes, the teachers enjoy widespread public support. Not only are they demanding that the government scrap their proposed education reforms, but they're also calling for an increased funding for education more generally, freedom for all political prisoners and prisoners of conscience, and justice for the 43 missing Normalista students from Ayotzinapa. And that's why we're marching together, for our teachers, for our children, and for the generations still to come. And a bit further south, Colombia has also been brought to a standstill in this case by a paro nacional, or national strike, initiated on May 30th by a broad-based coalition of indigenous groups, Afro-Colombians, farmers, truck drivers, teachers, students, and precarious workers. As part of the paro, an estimated 100,000 people have taken part in over 100 blockades, occupations, and so-called points of concentration across the country. This is the third paro this year, and each time they've gotten more fucking intense. A defining tactical feature of these strikes has been the coordination of mass highway blockades by rural peasants, aimed at paralyzing the national transportation networks in order to force government concessions. During the current paro, participants have raised a number of demands, many of which focus on the ongoing privatization of state assets and national resources. The failure of Colombia's lizard face fuck up a president, Juan Manuel Santos, to live up to previous agreements with social movements and the horrific fucking state of human rights in the country, where disappearances and assassinations of organizers and land defenders are still common practice. 